to my channel. First up, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who watched my trailer reaction video. I really appreciate the support. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the trailer shot by shot. It's going to be a long one, so get comfortable. So this trailer opens up on Boone's boat, the Shrimporium, approaching the land of Talon. Talon is a floating market based on the Mekong region of Southeast Asia, and it looks absolutely stunning at night. Next we have a gorgeous shot of Raya, who is confirmed to be 18 years old, walking through the markets with Tuk Tuk. After Raya's voiceover instructs her team not to trust anyone, she immediately trusts the first person she sees, a baby crying out in distress named Noi. While Noi is distracting Raya, her band of Omni named Pan, Uka and Dylan climb on top of Tuk Tuk and steal two pieces of the dragon gem. From my research I have been able to uncover that the gem split into pieces during a conflict between the Fang and Heart tribes when Raya was a child. You see the dragon gem is the last source of the dragon's healing powers and I presume the Fang tribe wanted it to bring vitality to their land. Raya's quest during the film will be to find all the pieces. When Raya turns around and catches the Omnis red-handed, Noi attacks her by pulling her hat down, kicking her in the face and throwing dust in her eyes. Noi then hops on the back of one of her Omnis and runs off, and she looks truly evil in this shot, like, oh my god. Raya then pursues Noi, and Tuk Tuk follows, rolling along. I was kind of concerned after the teaser that he wasn't able to roll well, but he seems to be a pro. Next are some more shots of Noi running away, with Raya chasing her. Noi is on one of the Omnis, and the other two are holding the Dragon Gem pieces. When they go across the bridge, you can see more of the floating markets. You can really see the real-life inspiration for this area, as it looks exactly like the Mekong region. Raya has some light she's thrown at her and uses her sword to cut them so that she has a clear path ahead. Raya then manages to get in front of Noi, but instead of being caught, Noi flies over the top of Raya, waving goodbye as she escapes. Honestly, this baby is evil. However, Raya must end up catching her, saying, Impressive. We could use someone like you. Yeah? Noi then replies in her baby voice like she is saying what? I just want to say that I think Talia Tran is doing an amazing job voicing Noi. You really know what she's saying without words. Raya's voiceover then gives us a rundown of the movie's premise. We see the replacement castle, Raya's Heartland Palace, that we previously saw in the teaser trailer. We then have a shot of Raya, who looks like she is going to kill someone. I think this shot comes from a massive final act confrontation she will have with Namari. We will see more of this scene later on in the trailer. We then get a shot of all the lands in Kumandra. This land is the Spined Land, described as an insulin remote land marked by xenophobia. It has snowy mountains and is the home of Tong. Xenophobia is a big theme to tackle in a Disney movie and very relevant to today's world. This land is the Fang Land, where Virena and Namari are from. It is said to be a thriving land surrounded by water. This land is more prosperous than some of the others as it has a piece of the Dragon Gem, as seen in this photo. This land is Tail, a remote desert that is becoming more isolated as water recedes. This is clearly a land in crisis that seems to have been devastated by the Drun coming back. Additionally, it is the land that Boone is from. This land is Talon, the one we saw earlier in the trailer. It is the crossroads and a bustling marketplace and the home of Noi. Finally, we have the heartland where Raya lives. This land is filled with magic through a crystal containing the last source of dragon power. This means that like the Fang land, it is thriving. Then we have a shot of all the tribes like we saw in the teaser. From left to right we have the Tail, Talon, Spine and Fang tribes. I believe that this is some sort of United Nations conference as we know that Raya's father made an attempt to unite the tribes but failed. Then we see Raya through the reflection in her sword. This seems to be a reference to Mulan, another fierce warrior. After that we see her riding through the tail land with Tuk Tuk in her quest to find the last dragon. Next there is a scene of Raya with her father Benja in the Heartland Palace, which is absolutely stunning by the way, with beautiful blossoms and lush green hills. They are sharing a meal together, which according to the filmmakers is a symbol for unity between characters. In other words, food is a visual metaphor for trust. Chief Benja says, My daughter, I believe our people can come together again. And I just want to say that his voice is absolutely perfect for this role. He also has a great character design and just has a really kind and wise sort of vibe. While he talks, we get a shot of 12-year-old Raya looking absolutely adorable. I am really curious to find out who is voicing young Raya as she is probably going to have quite a few scenes at the beginning of the movie. 
Avengers voiceover then says, but someone has to take the first step, and Raya is shown taking off her mask as a child and then as an adult. This is implying that Raya will have to take the first step towards unity. Next we see a picture of what appears to be a statue of Chief Benger, but it's not a statue. It is actually him turned to stone. You see, the drum has the ability to turn people to stone. It then multiplies and you can't fight or stop them. When the dragon jet was split, it released the drum, turning Raya's father to stone. So Raya basically has like a stone version of her dad just hanging around, and I'm sure that isn't traumatizing at all. The following shot is of a stone dragon from 500 years ago, when the dragons sacrificed themselves to save humanity. Next we have a shot of the giant Tong, who is too tall to fit through the door. He is then seen holding the dragon gem, saying he wants to join this fellowship of butt kickery. And honestly, Tong, I want to join too. Next, we have some shots of the other members of Raya's team. First is a shot of Noi on top of her Omnis. This scene is in the Fangland, as the two people in the background are in their traditional clothing. Then we have Boon saying, Let's go. I presume this is when we first meet him in the Tailland, and he offers his boat as transportation. I think that he is the first of the team to join as he is in the tail land where Sisu is first located. We next get a shot of his boat, the Shrimporium, and I am pleased to report that it looks big enough to fit Tuk Tuk. Thank goodness, because we cannot let Tuk Tuk get left behind. He is an angel. Then we have some super realistic looking water with Disney reminding us that they wrote Moana. Next, there is a shot of Tong in his homeland of Spine. He kind of looks like that iconic shot of Elsa in the Enchanted Forest from Frozen 2. Clearly, they are practically the same person. Then we see the masked guy from the teaser trailer, who we now know is Raya's father, pretending to be a bad guy for the purposes of her training. Next is a later shot in the same sequence with Benja fighting off members of the Fang tribe who have got into the Dragon Gem area. Raya says we're not the only ones looking, with a shot of Namari's army implying that they are hot on Raya's trail. This tribe is riding majestic cats and I really like them. We also see some solo shots of Namari in the tail land. She is holding what looks to be Raya's hair accessory from the first teaser, so she is clearly following her. Then Disney reminds us that they created Frozen, and funnily enough, we then get a scene that is very similar to Frozen 2, with Raya and Tuk Tuk entering a shipwreck. Raya follows a trail of water and says she has been searching six years for the dragon. She sounds pretty jaded and sad, which is a very unusual vibe for a Disney princess. She is apparently emotionally closed off as she lost those closest to her at a young age. I really like this choice as it makes her more real. Then Raya kneels and begins to do some sort of ritual ceremony. She holds up a vase and pours a drop of water into a goblet with a dragon on top. Suddenly multiple drops appear forming into the dragon and again this is really similar to Frozen 2. Raya says oh mighty Sisu which is appropriate as within Southeast Asian culture dragons are revered as divine creatures. Sisu then knocks her over and says, who said that? We then get a really good look of Sisu, who is a Naga dragon. This sort of dragon is more divine than Western dragons, who are seen as monsters or gatekeepers. She is holding a piece of the dragon gem, looking concerned, as I believe she needs the whole gem to access her skill set. Raya says to her that we really need your help, holding up the picture of the dragon defeating the drun, as we saw in the teaser. You can really hear the pain in her voice here, Kelly Marie Tran is such a good actress. Now here is my favourite quote from the trailer and I'm just going to play the full thing because I love it so much. I'm going to be real with you, I'm not like the best dragon. Have you ever done like a group project but there's like that one kid who didn't pitch in as much but still ended up with the same grade? I related to this so much. I've done so many group assignments by myself and it is beyond annoying. Raya says we're doomed and there is a cut of the team looking very concerned. Now this is clearly not the same scene as it is a completely different location, but it's a great shot and I especially love Tuk Tuk's worried face. Next we have a confrontation scene with Raya and Namari's army in the Spineland. This is a surprisingly intense scene with the Fang army having flaming arrows. How on earth is this a princess movie? Namari says, You and the dragon are coming with me. Hmm, my sword here says we're not. I am getting serious Catra and Adora vibes from these two. I already shipped them. Look, I know it's not going to happen, but it would be really fun if it did. Raya's sword then extends to become a whip, and it grabs Namari's spear. And 
was a pretty awesome move. There is another shot of Tuk Tuk rolling around the tail land with the Fang Cats in hot pursuit. Now is my favourite section in the trailer that I call the I Am That Good sequence. Raya seems to be walking towards the Fangland Palace while everyone else is running away, presumably from the drun. She reaches the palace and confronts Namari and they look furious. I think the reason why Namari is angry is because her mother has just turned into stone, as you can see in this picture. There is another cool shot of the team of misfits looking shocked at something. It looks like the spine land, but I'm not 100% sure. We then get a quote that basically sums up the movie's theme. The world's broken. You can't trust anyone. Maybe it's broken because you don't trust anyone. You just have to take the first step. Filmmakers, the movie looks at unity through the lens of trust. It involves a group of people from different ideologies and opposing worldviews having to work together and learning to trust each other. This quote is intercut with many different images. First, we have three shots of Raya and Namari fighting. Two of these shots feature them as adults, one from the Spineland and the other from the Fang Palace. The filmmakers said that their fights are rooted in real world physics with no fantastical elements. The third shot features them as children fighting. You see when they were children, Namari befriends Raya to gain her trust in order to steal the dragon gem. This was obviously the beginning of Raya's trust issues. Second, we get another snippet of Noi running through the talent markets like in the opening sequence. Thirdly, we get another shot of Namari in the tail land and Namari just looks incredible in this shot. Fourthly, there is a shot of the dragon breathing some sort of water mist to defeat the Fang army. Look, it's not fire, but it seems to be working. Fifthly, there is a shot of Sisu and Raya walking together in what looks like the Heartland. To the left, I think there is a dragon who has turned to stone. Sixthly, there is a picture of Raya, Tong, and Boon showing their unity and trust. Seventhly, there is a shot of Raya hugging Sisu, and it is so adorable. I feel this scene is towards the end of the movie, with Raya saying thank you to Sisu for helping her trust again. Eighthly, we have the gang looking really concerned and Boone yells out, Raya. This is again set in the Fang Kingdom during the massive conflict. At this point in the movie, they have three dragon gems and I presume there are five in total, one for each land. I'm also noticing a father-daughter vibe between Tong and Noi, so he may adopt her by the end of the film. Ninthly, we have a shot of Raya holding what I think is the dragon gem surrounded by the Drun, who we know is purple and black. Raya is in immediate danger, very close to death. Finally, we have a shot of Sisu walking on raindrops into the clouds, and it looks really cool. This kind of looks like a goodbye scene, and I just know I'm going to cry if that happens. After this quote, we get another scene of the battle that Raya took part in when she was young. Raya's father is using his sword like a whip, similar to what Raya did earlier in the trailer. It then cuts to Raya fighting Namari in the palace, and then to her holding out the dragon gem to harness its magic. Then we have the title, and since we now know that the dragon gem splits, the shards of glass make a lot more sense. Lastly, we get a cute ending scene of Sisu shape-changing into a human by using dragon magic. She looks amazing and her hair is iconic. Apparently shape-shifting is something rooted in the mythology of the Naga dragon, and story-wise it gives Sisu the perspective of a human being. She makes a digestion joke to appeal to kids, and then we get an awesome shot of Tuk Tuk eating, and I still adore him. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments if you noticed anything that I didn't. Like this video if you liked it, and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now, and have a magical day.